Hi, I'm Al, and this is a video. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Geometry Dash. Today, we are playing Quar by Viprin and more. As you guys know, I was set as verifier for this level, and I'm super excited for it. And today, I thought I would take you guys through it. I played it for a little bit uh, on my own because I tried streaming it uh, yesterday, and it was laggy as balls, so they've done a little bit more optimization. And I'm currently waiting for my manager to give me a secondary computer so I can stream it. However, I do want to just take you guys through it, let you guys soak it in a little bit, and just let you guys experience it, and I'll give my thoughts and opinions on it and yeah that's what we're doing today uh i'm just gonna showcase it to you and give you guys a little bit of a this is the level kind of situation right because as i normally do with my verifications i do want the verification to just be the level uh but anyway i'm gonna be taking you guys through it and i'm gonna be showing it to you i've had a lot of fun with this level trying to learn this and trying to like get decent with this level is incredibly incredibly fun and i'm super excited for it so without further ado here is core and uh clicks so you guys can like kind of figure out the level for yourself this level is super exciting this is a very fun level and i've had a very good time just playing it as you can see i'm playing this 144 hertz a uh, reason for that is the fact that uh i want to do this on full detail uh the showcase is on low detail for the sake of me not having my computer explode on me but as i'm going to be playing and verifying this i'm going to be playing it on full detail but anyway this beginning is very chill very nice it's honestly pretty fun it's not like i kind of expected it to not be like super exciting but this beginning is surprisingly like engaging for what it is it's just a slow nice controlled part that requires a decent amount of skill. Nothing too crazy, right? But then we get into this part and it's just, oh, look at this, dude. All of this is just absolutely fantastic. The gameplay flows super nicely. It's just extremely satisfying and enjoyable to play. It, it just, I don't know. There's just something about this that's just like super fun, super engaging. Uh, this duel is kind of tricky. You just have to like, it looks like you can go down early, but you have to go down as a spider right here and jump. And as you jump down here, you have to go up again. You get kind of like, have to do that. You have to hit that dash rub like surprisingly in the middle. Like I always thought that dash rub looked like really easy, but it's surprisingly hard actually. I don't know why. Other than that though, this uh this this pre drop isn't too bad honestly. I haven't learned like the full pre drop properly. I've not played the pre drop too much. I've only really played the drop of this level. So uh my my skill here at the very beginning is not too good this is the one part in the pre-drop that i'm not a huge fan of i find the gameplay in uh optics part to be like kind of jank mostly that duel uh the duel right around here i find it kind of tricky i'm getting decent at it i'm getting better at it right but it is a little tiny bit weird uh because basically what you have to do is you have to hit that hit that late buffer that then you have to jump here before you land with the other cube. Because if you hold, you do that, right? So you have to go click, do that, right? Which is weirdly tricky, right? But it, it's pretty decent. It's pretty nice. I, I like it. But then we get into the drop and oh my god. It is so good, bro. This drop is so good. It's actually incredible how well this level plays. Like, Viprin levels have, like, this stigma around not being the most fun level to play of all time. Like, Ouroboros is infamously not the greatest level of all time, like, gameplay-wise. Uh, same goes for stuff like Hypersonic, uh, Ditto Descent. A lot of people dislike Cybernetic because of how slow it is to begin with. It, it, the drop doesn't happen until, like, 50%. The Viprin levels are, like, known to not have the greatest gameplay of all time, but have very good visuals. This level has both. This level is just overall absolutely fantastic. And the gameplay in this is super fun. Like I've been having a sort of fun time just like trying to learn this level properly. And it's really good. Like I didn't have many expectations going into this because of my previous experience with a lot of Viprin extremes, right? I've beaten all of Viprin's extremes. So naturally I do have my thoughts and opinions on all of them. And the only one that I really think is like properly good is like gameplay wise is probably Subsonic. And I like Cybernetic, I'm gonna be real. While I do agree that is a little bit slow, right? But this level has exceeded my expectations like tenfold. 
that dual wave is a little bit hard. So if we go here, right, what you have to do here is you have to just like, you have to like jump tap and then you have to not hit the yellow or the blue orb and then jump from like the corner. So you kind of like one, two, one, two, one, two, like so. And in like motion, it's kind of hard. It goes really well to the music though. One, two, one, two, three. That part is kind of like, I kind of want to say spam in a way. It's like controlled spam. Also, I wanna I wanna put some uh, love and attention to this part right here, like gameplay wise. That part right there, oh my god, that is one of the most nutty parts of all time. I absolutely love that part. So satisfying to pull that part off. That is, mwah. oh, it's so good. I love it. It might be one of my favorite parts in any level, just in general. Then we get into what I consider like the start of the like, the really hard parts. 55 to the to the end at like 86, I find to be the hardest part of the level. So this is definitely a level that I can see some people getting a little bit annoyed with if you don't really get consistent with it, but it's really good. So for Flash's part, I love the Flash's part, but I will have to say, I do not like these orbs simply because of the fact that I find them a little tiny bit inconsistent. This black orb, the last black orb especially, I find to be somewhat inconsistent like that because you have to click extremely fast, like extremely fast. And I'm not a fast clicker. So I find it to be a little bit tricky and I can see a lot of other people also finding it a little bit tricky. Uh, it's not the hardest part ever but it's definitely a part that you can struggle with if you're like me. Now we get to Rafer's part. Oh my God, Rafer's part is so cool. That was a really sick run. I did not expect it to do 55 to 100 there because I've been trying to do that run for a little bit now, but this level is just so good. I'm going to go back again though. I absolutely love the straight fly. That straight fly is such a good node back to like the old school style. It's the, the stereo demon in the ship and it's, oh, it's so great. And then we get into Rafer's part. This part is just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just absolutely incredible. Because I'm playing this on low detail for the showcase purpose of this video, uh, you can't really like experience it fully, but just believe me when I say that this is absolutely stellar. A uh, Bionox part I do find a little bit awkward if I'm being 100% honest with you. Uh, the pink orb in the robot is a little tiny bit inconsistent I find, but that might just be me struggling with a little tiny bit of lag. But overall, wow. And here comes probably my favorite part gameplay wise in the level. Uh, Jenkins's part. I can't even begin to describe it, bro. I cannot begin to describe it. I don't know why that happens, actually. That's a weird one. Uh, the only thing about Jenkins' part that is like a little bit icky is that uh, ship hold right there. So we, 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 we'll go here, right? When we do this and we kind of like just game these, I find this ship hold to be a little bit tricky. It's very easy to go a little bit late and end up like that. That's like a thing that I that happens a lot. That might just be me, me doing my uh, muscle memory because I'm holding. You don't have to hold there. You can just click, click, right? I personally prefer to hold. So that might just be a me thing. If you don't hold, you're probably going to have a much easier time with that part. And then KWMS's part. I, I can't begin to like talk about KWMS's part. KWMS, yes. Uh, His part is just really cool, like visually. It reminds me a lot of his hurricane part. I'm not gonna lie. It, it does give me like very hurricane vibes, but to be fair, it still looks absolutely incredible. Like the hurricane part as well is just one of my favorite parts in general in extremes. So like visually. 
So I, I don't really mind the fact that it looks like it. <laughs> and we have this ending. This ending is pretty chill. Uh, I'm probably going to be a little bit salty if I do die to this ending. It's very possible, especially like at the beginning of it. Uh, the very beginning of it is very easy to die to, I feel like. Like this part right here, the beginning of Renumi, I believe. Renumi? I don't know how to say his name. That is a very easy part to like mess up. It, it requires a little bit of ship control and... Because I'm playing on a refresh rate that I'm not used to. Uh, I'm having a little bit harder time. But overall, this part isn't too bad. There are some tight gaps, but nothing like too crazy. I can see how why people would think this might be a little bit harder than other parts. But I, I can't really tell. This is just a me being uh, above this skill level in terms of like everything really. And then this ending part is a little bit sketch. I'm not going to lie. Like license part is a little terrifying. It looks absolutely phenomenal i love this part to death it, it's so cool but yeah no absolutely fantastic level i'm super excited to verify it this level is about uh i would say like daydream difficulty so it's not like too hard it's a rather easy extreme like overall it's definitely very approachable it is easier than bloodbath so a lot of people are going to be able to enjoy this and have fun with it i'm super excited for it so this is a level that i'm very excited to see many people play uh let's try and let's try and do some drop attempts uh, just to like end off the video, but yeah, no, I think this is a very good level. I'm very excited for it. Thank you so much, Viperin and gang for allowing me to verify it. Level should be out soon. Uh, I can't really promise anything. I'm going to try and stream it a little bit more just to see if I can record and stream it at the same time. Uh, but if not, I'll have to wait for my new computer or my second computer. I'm waiting for to have two. So one can record and one can, uh, but yeah, no, this level is absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited for it. It should be out very soon. I'm going to be very pushy on the fact that I'll need a computer. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys around. Uh, I'll just get like a decent and run and then you guys can enjoy i suppose That was really good. Damn. Oh, I can't believe I died at that though. Anyway, yeah, I got some decent runs. Uh, no, this is very exciting. I'm super hyped for it. I'm going to be continuing practicing it so that once I actually am able to stream it, I'll just beat it and like, like that, you know? But anyway, I'll see you guys around. Eat your green stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.